morning, everybody. Today is Monday, April 27th, and here are our lessons for the day. So in English language arts today and tomorrow, we will have a reading focus of using what we know about sounds to blend and break words apart. And we know that we learned two super important uh, rules about sounds this year, and those are digraphs and blends. So let's start with digraphs. Digraphs are when we have two consonants that sit right next to each other in a word and make one sound. So here are some of our examples that we learned during foundations, and I'll go over these um, letters, keywords, and sounds for you just to give us a reminder of what these digraphs sound like. So we have WH, whistle, w, CH, chin, ch, SH, ship, TH, thumb, and CK, sock, k. And remember, CK, we only see at the end of a word. So digraphs are special because they are two letters, two letters that come together to make one sound. So when we see our sound cards for digraphs, we know that our digraphs actually only show up on one sound card like you see in CH here because they only make one sound. So we have CH. And in a word, when we tap it, we only need to give digraphs one tap. So I have an example of a word right here and I'll remind us how to tap out a word with a digraph in it. So we have three sound cards, which means we will be giving this word three taps. Ch, a, I'm going to do it one more time, but a little bit faster. Chat. The word is chat. So that's how you blend a word with a digraph. But we also know that we learned about words with blends. And blends are also when we have two consonants that sit right next to each other in a word. Except these two consonants keep their own sounds. They don't come together to make one sound. They each have their own sound. So I don't have every blend that we've learned, but I do have five examples of blends right up here in this table. I have sk, sk, bur, bur, kul, kul, and sw. So each of those words, they blend together nicely, but you can hear both letter sounds in each of those um, blends. So the example that we're going to use today is And S and K here are both on their own sound cards because we do need to give a tap for each letter in a blend, okay? So here in this word, just like in chat, there are four words, but, or not four words, I'm sorry, there are four letters, but each letter is on its own card, okay? So instead of having three cards for four letters, we have four cards for four letters, which means that this word gets four taps. So I'm going to remind us again how we can tap out a word with a blend in it. I'm going to do it one more time faster. And the word is skin. Okay, so that's the difference between a blend and a digraph. A blend has two letters that each get their own tap, each make their own sound, and a digraph has two letters that come together to make one sound. Okay, and today you're going to practice using those skills in one I Ready reading lesson. Now you have two lessons that should be assigned from me today, but you only need to do the first lesson. And your success criteria for that lesson is I can listen to sounds and choose the picture that matches, okay? So on your teacher assigned lessons, remember that's on the blue side, you just need to click on the first one where it says lesson, blend words with digraphs, trigraphs, and blends, okay? And in this lesson, you're going to be listening to sounds and blending them together and choosing the picture that matches the word. All right, and today our math focus, and this whole week our math focus is going to be adding and subtracting within 20, which is a skill that we spent lots and lots of time on in first grade. Okay, so remember some of our addition strategies are using doubles, 
drawing a picture to help us add, counting on, using part, part, whole, or charting it, um, making a 10 using doubles plus one, or the commutative rule, remember, which is when we just take our add-ins and switch them and still get the same whole. And our subtraction strategies were very similar. We can draw a picture, we can count backwards, we can also use part, part, whole, or charting it, and we can count on using doubles, and we can make a 10 when subtracting as well. Our math focus today is Math Practice 1, which you'll find on our Canvas page, and your success criteria is, I can show how I solved and write a number sentence. So to find Math Practice 1, you just need to go to our Canvas page and find the table with our documents and click on Math Practice 1, which is right at the top here in Monday's documents, right above Mystery Science Spring Flowers. And when you click on that, you'll get a document that looks like this with four math problems on it. And all of these problems today are addition problems, okay? So in our first problem, you'll use a doubles plus one strategy to solve. In our second problem, you'll make a 10 to solve. And in our third problem, you can use any strategy that you want as long as you show how you solve and circle the correct answer. And finally, in number four, there's three addition problems and you just need to draw a line from the addition problem to the answer, okay? All right, please let me know if you have any questions about today's lessons. And I am super excited for our Zoom meeting today at one o'clock. Please remember to bring a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or any writing utensil that you have so we can work on solving a math problem together in today's meeting. And we will also be doing a sound scavenger hunt. All right, looking forward to it. See you in a little bit. Bye.